racing to brace the gates of Moscow, Prince Dmitri and his army of Rus allies rushed into the fortified heart of the city. This would be the greatest test of Moscow's mighty stone walls. But could the capital hold out against the furious legion of the Golden Horde? The Muscovites had already faced many Mongol attacks on their city and knew the Horde would arrive in vast numbers. The race to fortify Moscow began. Early in his reign, Dmitri had purchased land surrounding Moscow. These vassal settlements provided Dmitri with taxes paid in gold, but could also supply reinforcements. If Dmitri chose to request reinforcements, he would lose the revenue from that settlement. Dmitri's call for support was answered by the vassal town, which sent all the troops it could spare. As Dmitri urgently prepared the city's defenses, fleeing villagers from nearby towns flooded into Moscow, desperately seeking refuge from the rapidly approaching Mongol army. The Mongols had long used the tactic of allowing survivors to escape from one sacked town and flee to the next. Word of their brutal raids would spread, striking terror into the heart of their enemy. The refugees from the settlements surrounding Moscow had all arrived at the city. They would wait out the Mongol assault behind Do Moscow's you? stone walls. Трудить и дух удовлетворенно есть. 
Хочу стрелять их. Иду куда верят. Так крепко есть. Что накажете? Люблю, трудитесь на земле. Все, я построю скоро. Hearing the thunderous beat of the Mongol war drums on the horizon, Dmitri rallied his men to hold their ground. If the stone walls were breached, the city would fall. The Mongol torches made short work of Moscow's wooden palisades, and now the old stone walls were all that stood between Dmitri and defeat. Yeah, let's 
Братьевой! Братья, приказь! Приступайте на гамма! Сейчас! 
Поэзии! Слушайте все! Все приготовьтесь, Анадовна! Ладницы с медом! есть время! A new threat arrived at Moscow's gates. The Mongols rolled in their mightiest siege engines. With the heartbeat of Mongol war drums closing in, the Rus knew the horde would not relent.
Muscovites bravely held their capital in the face of an overwhelming Mongol onslaught. But now an even larger army had arrived on Moscow's doorstep. Running out of time, Dmitri ordered his army to hold back the Mongols long enough for Moscow's citizens to escape. Dmitri's call for support was answered by the vassal town, which sent all the troops it could spare. Приготовляйтесь, 
Ожидайте на ко... Идите, лучницы! Дайте мне работу. Ожидайте наказа, лучницы! Войни, на брешь по скорбу! Dmitry and his men held the city, giving some of Moscow's citizens time to flee. But despite their steadfast defense, the Rus could hold out no longer, and the capital succumbed to the vast numbers of the Horde. Toptamish Khan sacked the city, plundering its riches and slaughtering any Muscovites that remained. Prince Dmitry had no choice but to take flight, abandoning his home. Bruce independence would have to wait. <laughs> 